Hello and good morning students. Myself Tanya Sharma, your EBS teacher. Welcome back to your EBS class. In the previous class, we discussed about parts of plant and got to know about them in detail. In today's class, we are going to learn about the plant's use. How the plants are helpful to us. But before starting today's topic, we will revise the previously learned topics uh, such as roots, stems, leaves, flowers and fruits. Roots are the part of the plant which grow under the ground. They help the plant to gain minerals from the soil stems. Stems grow upward above the ground. They help in absorbing the water from the roots and to carry it to the different parts of the plant. Leaves. Leaves are of different, color, uh, different shapes and sizes. Fruits. Fruits are the fleshy and juicy part of the plant. Mango, apple, etc. are fruits. Fruits also contain seed inside them. Now we will discuss about flowers. Flowers are of many colors and shapes. Lily and rose are examples of some flowers. As we know that today we are going to study about the uses of the plant, let me tell you that we are having lot many things from plants. We get many things from them like shade, clean air, fruits and vegetables. Along with that, we also get wood from the plants. Plants help in keeping the environment clean. They clean the air and make the oxygen pure so that we can breathe that oxygen. Plants also help in maintaining the balance between carbon dioxide and oxygen in the atmosphere. Plants are also helpful in providing shelter and food to the animals. I will show you the screen in which you can see the textbook and from there we will learn how the plants are helpful to us. Plants help us. Plants help us in many ways. We should take care of them. Plants give us clean air to breathe. Tall plants like trees gives us shade. They give us fruits and vegetables to eat. They also provide food and home to animals. They give us flowers and wood. We use wood to make bed, sofa, chairs and tables. So from this we can know that plants are very helpful to us and they are very important in our life. They Provide us with clean air, shade, fruits and vegetables and even provide some of the animals with food and home. As you have seen the screen and we have read the topic, now I will explain you about them. Plants are helpful, in, helpful to us in many ways. They provide us with many things. They help in providing clean air for breath. They also provide us with fruits and vegetables. They also provide us with flowers and woods from which we make furniture. They help us in giving shade during summer season. In this way, trees are helpful to us in many ways. Also, they are helpful to animals because they provide food and shelter to animals too. From that, we can learn that not only to human beings but also to animals, plants are very helpful. Plants are the important part in the nature. If plants will not be there, then it will be very difficult to maintain the balance in the atmosphere. Now, we are going to do the checkpoint. Fill in the blanks. First, plants give us dash air to dash. You have to fill in the blank from the given options. Plant give us dash air. So, what will be the answer? Clean. Plants give us clean air to breath. Second, plants give us dash and dash to eat. What we can eat from the above given section? Vegetables, food and fruits. So, what plants give us? 
vegetables and fruits so the answer will be plants give us vegetables and fruits to eat third one plants also provide dash and dash to animals what do they provide to animals food right so plants also provide food and home to animals i hope you are clear with this checkpoint in the course book you can see this section i wish i knew you know cucumbers are fruits but we eat them as vegetables cucumbers are a type of fruits but we eat them raw and as vegetables also right now you can see i think and reflect section in the course book where the question is given why should we not cut trees so you all must be knowing this answer that we should not cut trees because they provide us with lot of things right now in today's discussion we had learned that plants help us in many ways they provide us with clean air fruits vegetables wood etc right so if there will be no trees how we will get things then Let's come to I discover section plants and trees are homes to many animals and birds what would happen if there are no trees what should we do about it okay so as plants and trees are homes to many birds and animals if there will be no trees then the animals and trees will find animals and birds will find out difficulty in living they will not get home they will not get any shelter and they will not have any food as well so we should not cut the trees we should plant more and more trees now as we have completed whole of the chapter we will revise the chapter in a small part that is a summary i will show you my screen and then i'll give you the explanation through that now students as we have completed the whole chapter we will do a quick revision of whatever we learnt in this chapter through this summary you can see a hierarchy here hierarchy means a tree like structure right types of plant first of all we learnt about types of plant how many types of plants are there trees shrubs herbs climbers creepers and water plants right then here you can see parts of plant how many parts of plant are given here six roots stem leaves flowers fruits and seed roots are in the ground stem grows upward the ground then leaves you can see leaves flowers and fruits but seeds where are the seeds seeds are inside the fruits okay so all these are parts of plant I hope you all are clear with third chapter plants around us. I'll be back with another video. Till then, stay home, stay safe. Thank you.